All right. Hi, people. So I've been going over terminologies, and I've, I, I had a video today where I had this in the title. Senators. As soon as it was posted, got flagged. So I changed it to Ottawa. Apparently that's okay. So I started thinking about team names, okay? Sabres. I'm going to go through teams alphabetically and go through names that that might cause a flag, right? Because I'm having fun with this. Uh, flames. Now, Sabres could be considered uh, violent flames, forest fires, you know. Um, Blackhawks. Well... Wow. There's, there's numerous ways that people can say, oh, you can't you can't talk about that. Uh, hurricanes, obviously. Avalanche. And I realized that stars, in, in, in the wake of all of the kerfuffle going on in Hollywood, kerfuffle's not a swear word, um, <laughs> that, that stars could be a, a, a flag. Uh, Red Wings, um, remember... Um, red could mean communist. Uh, Oilers, well, that's oil. Uh, Panthers, uh, Black Panthers. Kings, well, that's supporting a monarchy. Uh, wild, that could be supporting Kardashians. I don't think Canadians would get flagged. Um, predators. Predators, well, it is with an E. People might be offended because it's French. Predators, uh... Devils, uh, Islanders might be considered slang, you know, for people from uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, Rangers, you know, Texas Rangers, uh, Chuck Norris, violence. So I already got Senators up there. Uh, flyers, Airplanes, 9-11. Um, well, no, I'm just I'm just thinking outside the box. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Penguins should be fine. Blues, well, that's sad. And advertisers don't want to talk about things that are sad. Uh, sharks, 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 uh, sharks are violent. And Saturday Night Live showed us they'll hunt you down. Sharks and jets, you know. Oh, right, it was the sharks and the jets in in Greece, right? Oh, that's offensive. I don't know. What was it? It's uh, oh, West Side Story? Yes. Whatever. That's offensive, too. No, uh, Maple Leafs? Some people might think so. Uh, Canucks is actually considered uh, a slang offensive term in some places. I don't know why. Capitals? Yeah, I don't know why either. Capitals? Well, you could be talking about politics, which could get you in trouble. But that's just the fun of it. So those are just the things that I look at and say, well, that, that could cause a flag. Look at the terminology... In, in hockey. Okay, so we have a draft. Well, you have you have you have drafts with military, so you can't talk about drafts. Alcohol. Alcohol. Draft alcohol. Yeah. Oh, and alcohol too, right. Yeah. Um so draft beer. Um there's shooting percentage. So that's 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 potentially bad. Um oh, there's so many terms used hits. in hockey. Uh, hits Shots, uh, fired. <laughs> three-way? Yeah, yeah, three-way. Uh, when the trade went down between the Preds and the Senators and the Avalanche, I knew I had to try to avoid having that in the title. And then when it got flagged, I'm like, that's in the title. So, can't do that. Um, if you're watching a hockey game... <laughs> If you're watching a hockey game, Bob Cole's favorite is that they're getting down to the short strokes, which I remember my mother being horrified by that about 20 years ago, and he still says it. And you're like, wait, you're, you're down to what? What? Um, what else is there? Oh, oh there's so many. <laughs> so juicy long. rebounds. Yes, our juicy. Juicy. He got juicy. There's juicy yeah. rebounds. Yeah. Which could be used to describe recently single women. <laughs> <laughs> you could use that for... Well, I'm just saying. No, women no. can use that for men, too. But we don't. Juicy rebounds. I... Ew. Yeah. It's all juicy. Uh, 
just a little bit ago. He got a piece of him. That's okay. Just yeah. <laughs> just the word piece isn't everything. Get a piece of it, piece of him, piece of, yes. piece of that. You got to get a piece. And all the hits and shots fired, three-way, short strokes. Almost anything in hockey that one the other day. could be taken as violent oh. or, or related to fooling around with people. The one the other day, that was still the funniest one I think I've ever heard. Which one? That he's a big tease, he just keeps putting it in there and pulling it out. Yes, he's a big tease, he keeps putting it in there and pulling it out. I almost died. <laughs> There's stuff that gets said during hockey games that, oh. you know, when I'm doing videos about hockey, I don't think about the fact that some of the terminology can sound pretty filthy if you really think about it. Oh. And yeah, rebounds. Rebounds, to me, qualifies as something that if it's in a title or if it's in metadata, they might go, what? Oh, we got to flag that because this is all automated. Uh, there's always been speculation of maybe I'm being targeted. No, this is all automated because there's times where I change a title or I may change something small in the metadata and then I go back and it's monetized. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, it's fixed. And then there's other times where I just, I just, I'm up all night trying to figure it out. And it's so funny because there are so many things that it you could be. Because, you know, the word golden, thanks to the dossier, I think it's flagged. And just the word Vegas, nice. I would think right now Texas. Yes. Texas is going to be on there. Uh, I don't talk about Puerto Rico, so I don't have to worry about that. Like every time we're watching a game, we hear terminology and we go, okay, that, that doesn't sound right. That really doesn't sound right. Um... Yeah, there's um, there's so many things they say during the game, and now that I got the camera rolling, I can't think of other ones. Well, they do a lot of like they say, get him from behind. Oh, and lots of get it from get him from behind. He's coming hard. He's coming hard. And fast. He's coming hard and fast. <laughs> They're really coming hard here in the here in the third, and it's like the what? So again, the way they say it, and the way you hear it. Maybe something completely different. But there's times where I'm watching a hockey game and I'm like, you know, for people who don't know the game, and I'm talking to you people who are Vegas fans right now, there's got to be times where you're watching a game, if you haven't watched it before, and you go, what did they just say on the television? Did they just, what did they just say? What am I watching here? You know, where grandma's out in the kitchen. What are you youngins in here watching? It's hockey. Doesn't sound like hockey. Well, it looks empty because San Jose is getting killed. Oh, yes, that's another one. Uh, killed. Slaughtered. Yep, slaughtered. And these are sports terms all over. Oh, yeah. Like, you hear it. I mean, football. I, almost anything in football, almost any terminology in football is it's just violence. It's just yeah. sheer oh, yeah. violence. But it's so weird because, yeah, almost anything can get flagged. So here's here's the question I have for you guys. This is another sort of fun video like I did earlier. Terminology in hockey, the when you hear it in a game, makes your head whip around. If you're, you're just talking to somebody and all of a sudden you hear something on TV, you go, wait, what did they just say? And it could be something Paul Romanuk says because every game Romanuk announces at least once he oh. says something and you go, I don't think that's a phrase. I don't think that's the way the English language works. And some of the some of the announcers, at least when John Garrett does it, he'll admit it. Or if Shorthouse says it, Garrett will call him on it. That's why I like the, the Canuck announcers a lot. But there's there's things that announcers say that you hear and you go, you know, you should probably find a different way of saying that. Um, and Pierre Maguire does it too. Uh, when he talks about he's got the biggest stick in the league. Pardon? Oh, yeah, they do that a lot too, Yeah, he's got a... Look at that stick out there. He's got the longest stick. Uh, he, uh, can you guys 
Try to find... I don't know. I can't see myself standing between the benches and admiring guys' sticks. I just... I just can't see myself going, you know, you guys can't appreciate the beauty of this stick until you're down here. It's so long and beautiful. It is such a beautiful stick. It's gorgeous. It's a thing of beauty. And the way he handles it, oh my god. It's wonderful. Like, I really, really wonder sometimes about sports. And there's... What are you laughing at now? He plays with a stick because he gets bored. There you go. Just said during the game. So, I get flagged, but I kind of get it. So, yeah, let me know uh, terminology you guys here during games. It's it's uh, it's kind of amazing, really. Uh, and, and, and I know this happens in all sports. It's just, this is just one of those fun things that I'm, I'm looking at. And saying, you know, that's that's kind of funny. Notice I just put golden and not knights. I don't think knights cause us any kind of problem. But golden, it, it could. It could. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, in terms of terms you hear in hockey that make you say, wait, what? Terms you think don't really belong. Like right now, there's there's big body presence and, and big stick presence and active sticks and things that they say about games that I think you could just throw out and just use basic terminology. Those ones are weird. And I, I blame Pierre Maguire on those ones. Um, just things you hear during a game that makes you go, uh, no, stop it. I know you guys have items that you hear during games. Every announcer's got his own little ticks that he's got phrases he says. They go, wait, what? Especially Bob Cole. Anybody who watches Hockey Night in Canada, you got Bob Cole stories. Give them to me. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, and I'll talk to you again later.